hello friends I usually don't do these types of videos but in light of our current situation with the Black Lives Matter protests and all the issues that affect black people in America coming to the forefront I have been move to talk about some issues that I have experienced working in America. I'm from Jamaica and I migrated to America some years ago and in my experience in order to survive in America you either need to be a lawyer, have a lawyer in your family, be married to a lawyer, have a lawyer as your best friend, or you have to be a lawyer or know the law very well. If not, everybody will try to steal your money. I started working at this healthcare company as a supervisor a few years ago. At the end of my first month of training, I only received half of the money I earned. I spoke to another supervisor who was my trainer. I made the mistake of showing him my pay stub. And the only reason I did this was because I didn't know who else to talk to. This is a person who was training me and I was looking for some type of assistance in figuring out why I was only paid half of the amount that I was supposed to get. So the supervisor told me to call HR. When I called the HR, the HR informed me that the manager of my company changed the code in their system from pay to do not pay and they told me I had to speak with my manager in order to receive the rest of my paycheck. I spoke to my manager. He gave me this long lecture about how when he started out with a company he had to work his way up and he noticed that a number of new recruits like myself just thought that because I had a degree I'm better than any of the other managers that did not have one. I guess he didn't have a degree, but why is he attacking me? I'm just there trying to earn some money so I can go home and take care of my family. Anyway, he told me that I caused all types of problems with my trainer because I earned more money than my trainer did and he, my manager, is not going to pay me until I prove myself. The manager told my trainer that he had to pay me more because I was married and I had a family. Lo and behold, the next month, my trainer announced that he was getting married. Congratulations. Anyway, he informed me that women really need to be at home taking care of the kids and to make a long story short, I had to complain to the regional manager. Nothing was done. I got behind in my bills. I had to pay the, a whole bunch of late fees. I ended up realizing that it was causing me more, it was costing me more to stay at that job than they were actually paying me. And the harassment, the jealousy, and the tension I felt there was not even worth it. I ended up having to leave. So, are you an African American woman that has experienced harassment in your workplace because of the fact that you're a woman and because of the color of your skin and also because you earn more than your colleagues 
If so, I would love to hear your stories. So please comment below this video. And I look forward to reading your comments. And I have a lot of other stories to share. And the reason I am sharing these stories is because I want other African American women who happen to have a college degree to understand that you are not the only person who is facing discrimination in your workplace. There are many others who are experiencing the same and I just want to encourage you to do what you can. If possible, leave the company and find a better company where your efforts are more appreciated. But just don't give up and just don't think it's just you. Realize that these are major issues that um, we as African Americans have to learn to fight, to overcome in order to move forward so thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video